Um, firstly, I'd like to thank my fellow activists for allowing me this chance to participate. All of us here are fighting for different communities, Tibetans, Uyghurs, the people of Taiwan, Southern Mongolians and Hong Kongers, all threatened and continually oppressed by the Chinese Communist Party. We must remember that this isn't some distant problem for us even here in Sweden. We're all involved and we can all help change it. My organization, Befria Hong Kong, stands for the preservation of the democratic rights and freedoms of the people of Hong Kong, who lost so much of that freedom recently with the, with the national security law that passed in July. The people of Hong Kong now live in stifled rage with many afraid to speak out or speak up out of fear that their loved ones might be stolen away to face torture and imprisonment in China. Though many protest in their own way against the CCP's attempts to destroy the culture and identity of the Hong Kong people, just as they are doing with the Uyghurs by forcing them to conform to Chinese customs and values, and just as they are doing with the people of Mongolia, who are right now struggling against the crackdown on their culture. And what they've been doing, of course, to Tibet for decades. And on that note, I'd like to express my th sympathies to the Tibetan community with regard to the passing of Takna Jigme Sangpo, who, even when imprisoned, fought however he could for a free Tibet. My purpose here isn't to list out the injustices committed against humanity by the CCP. They are many and they are terrible. And when you hear them, you might feel a momentary anger or a swell of pity. But if I may be blunt, we don't need pity, we need help. We need action. And every bit helps, whether it's spreading awareness by boycotting certain products or events, or just simply paying attention, not just to the CCP's action, in Asia, but across the world. And it does affect the world, even us here in Europe. I mentioned the CCP's attack on Mongolian culture. Just recently, Chinese authorities demanded that an exhibition in France remove the words Genghis Khan, Empire, and Mongol, and replace them with a Chinese state-approved narrative. Are we here expected to blindly accept the Chinese government's attempts to rewrite history and to wipe away entire peoples? I'm grateful to live in this country that has already taken substantial action against the Chinese government, but we need to keep going. We have to make sure our friends know and our families and certainly our representatives that we want to take a stand, that we stand with all these people, and that we have to keep fighting. Thank you.